What's up everybody, I'm playing a new Pokemon game called Pokemon Police Force. Right now it's in demo, you can find a link to it in the description. On the title screen it says Delta Emerald, but make, most, make no mistake, this is Pokemon Police Force. So let's see what this is all about. It seems really cool. I like all the uh, UI and title screen stuff that they've done. It's very quiet. Oh, and the font, this is like fire red leaf green, kinda. My name is Captain Cross. I'm here to welcome you to your first ass assignment. I don't think that's spelled right. With the League Law Force. While on the SS Speed, you will be assigned the location of your task. The three factions, Rangers, Mountaineers, and your group, the Officers, will be appointed to different locations throughout Kanto. I wish you luck on your first day with the Law Force. Ooh, I'm a policeman! I want to be Policeman Patrick. No, I want to be... I should just do Cam, but I kind of like typing in funny names. But I'll just be... Cam Poli. I was gonna type in Cam Police, but it didn't work. It didn't fit all the way, so Cam Poli. Hmm, <clears throat> Officer Cam Poli, reporting for duty, sir. Oh, you can choose one of many. Um, who would be the best? I kind of like Growlithe, because that's a cool police officer starterino. Electrike is also probably pretty cool. Machop might be the best option, though, just because I want to physical attack everything. Uh, I'm gonna go with Growlithe, though. My heart says Growlithe, and I'm going with my heart. Um, I'm not gonna nickname him. He's a little cutie, is what he is. Hey, Campoli. Ethan! The Ethan! All officers have been called to the meeting room. Before we go, I have some gear to give you. Hey! Nice. So far, this is very nice. I like the look. Boots! Yay, yeah, 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 now I can run. I'll see you in the meeting room upstairs. Don't be too slow now. Well, you did just give me boots, so I can go. Wee! I like the blue trainer. That looks very similar to the, uh, Mountaineers. I hope I don't get assigned to Mount Pyre in Hoenn. I'm afraid of ghosts. Yeah, ghosts are quite spook. My favorite memory of this job was when I was sent some... One, I sent so some crummy Team Rocket grunts packing. <laughs> it was hilarious. Hardy laugh. That sounds quite hilar. Quite hilar. Uh, let's save. I gotta, I gotta save. But yeah, so far I'm liking this. This is kind of cool. Anything in the trash can? No. Oh. There's usually, there's like usually something in trash cans, but I don't know. Can I go in here? Oh, this is the meeting room. Good morning, officers. Locations have been organized and accommodation has been sorted. You will be working in a team of two with your assigned partner. Ethan. Campoli and Ethan. Yay. We are nearing Three Island, where you shall be staying for a duration of the year. The Islanders requested constant officers present in the living area. They say there has been an increase in biker gangs and aggressive wild Pokemon, so look out. All right, I, get, I get to take out some bikers. The layering on the officers is a little weird. It's like, I don't know, maybe I'm just seeing things, but it looks like maybe they're not on top of each other. Like, they're on top of each other, but they don't have legs? I don't know. Maybe they're just tiles. Nah, I don't think that's the case. A child was reported missing last night after entering the berry forest with her Pokemon. Oh, Hypno! The Hypno is a rapist. They are still unsure whether this is a kidnapping or the girl getting lost. There will be times where they may need your help. I wish you both luck on your first assignment. Remember your training. I'll dismiss you now as we will be arriving soon. Okay, let's go, Ethan. We'll be at Three Island soon, so why don't we have a quick battle in the officer's lounge? I'll see you in there. Yay! I like that. I really like that. He's like, he's he does, he's not like one of those rivals who just says, Let's battle right now! Rah! I like it when they're like, Hey, I want to battle you, but I'll give you some time to get ready. Because I want to go to item storage, and I want to withdraw the potion. And then I also want to save. So I don't have to view that cutscene again. Although if I lose, the, the game probably accommodates me losing, right? But yeah, so I'm not on the SSN, I'm on the SS Speed. I wonder why they call it that. Because it goes real fast? Uh, they said in the Officer's Lounge. This is the room I just came from, which I don't think is the Officer- Oh, it is! Ha! Come on, Campoli! Let's fight! Oh! Oh! Ethan! I like that versus. That was pretty cool. Ooh. All right, let's go. Oh, he has. Oh, we start level 15. I didn't even. That's cool. Nice. Just, just started off early. I like that. I should check my stats. Odds are my special is not as. Oh, this is quite cool. This is quite nice. Odds are my physical is higher than my special. Yeah. So I'm just gonna keep uh biting. Actually, no, I have, I do have Stab on Ember. 
But his defense might be lower than his special. I don't know. Whatever. I'll just keep biting him. So far, it's been working out pretty good. Plus, Bite has a chance to make them flinch, which Ember does not. Ember does have a chance to make him burned, though. Hmm. Either way, no matter how you slice it, I'm going to start off by saying I like starting at a higher level. You can just cut out all the lower levels. They should just make a game where you start at 50 and are already amazing, and then you have, like, really intense challenges right off the get-go. Now arriving at Three Island. Oh, that's our stop. Let's -a go. You got it, Ethan. Ethan, our team isn't very balanced since I have a Growlithe and you have a Hound Door. We're both we we both have fire dogs. I mean, I guess that is kind of a police thing, right? Like uh, in the games, a lot of the police have dogs that are just dog Pokemon. I guess this is it, Campoli. We're here. Bye, bye, Bodie. That boat looked a lot bigger on the inside. Let's hide outside. There should be an Islander waiting for us. Islander! That is just very, uh... Wait, is this the exact island? Oh my god, that music is loud. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, look at that frame rate. Police, man. Damn, pigs getting in our way. You wanna come fight? That's so loud. Jesus. The sound of the battle relative to that sound effect that just played? That was like... I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go deaf. Like, this music is really quiet now. Relative to all the sound effects and stuff. God damn. And then the frame rate got really bad, too. I wonder if it's because there's, like, a lot of bikers or something. That's probably it. There's, like, a ton of events on the map. That's my guess. <laughs> Zubat's so low to the ground. That makes him easier to fuck with. Yes, Zubat. Lower yourself so I can kick you away. <laughs> he's, like, standing. I like to imagine those two little tail, like, tail things behind him are his little legs. And he's leaning forward, doing like a little bit of a Michael Jackson lean. <laughs> little stubby legs. Little Zubat with leg stubs. That'd probably be actually de probably pretty cute. Cuter than normal Zubat. Police aren't usually this tough. It's only level 15, bro. God, it's loud. That was unexpected. Let's scarper. I mean, scamper. Wait, you just went into where I came from. Thank you so much, officers. Those thieves were trying to take my money. My name is Nook. Tom Nook! You two must be the New Island Police Officers. Yes. Animal Crossing reference. We are indeed, sir. I'm Ethan, and this is Campoli. It's nice to meet you. Once again, I have to thank you two. I, I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't saved me. God, the frame rate's really messing with my reading. If you two come with me, I'll show you where I'll be staying. I don't care where you're staying. What matters is where I'm staying. Sounds good. Let's go. Now it's... Is it better, or is it, is it still bad? Huh. Yeah, it's still bad. Gosh darn frame rate. I think this is the exact same map, though, as the one that was originally in Fire Red Leaf Green. Which is pretty cool. I like that. I cleared this cave out a while back, but rocks keep re-blocking the path. Well, this guy just sucks, then. Alright, up we go. Three Island. Very nice. Your houses are just over here. So far, it looks really cool. I like I like the mapping. This is your house. We've already set up everything inside for you. Yay, I have a house! I'll come see you once we've settled in. Sweet, so I'm a police officer with a base of operations? That's cool. I like that. I got my cozy little house. Whoa, there's, what's this door in the back? Is this my room? Who the hell are you? Hello? This is creepy. Uh, is she a ghost? The forest. Uh, sends like a shiver down my spine. Ah, she was a ghost! What the fuck was that? Campoli says. Campoli exclaimed. What the fuck? Alright, well, I'll just put my shit away. I'm all unpacked. All, all I had to do was walk up to the dresser and slap it with my hand. And now everything is unpacked. Can I sleep in my beddy boo? Hey! I can. How about this? It's filled with my officer gear. It's crammed full of Pokemon books. I like that. So far, I'm liking this. This is a nice little experience. Is this crammed full of Pokemon books as well? Yes. A note. What's the note say? This is for you, Officer Campoli. Welcome to the island. <gasps> Ooh! I can have an RK9 already. I'll use this phone when it's needed. This is my nice little house. I, I really like it when games have a base of operations. So being a police officer with my own house on the island, I like that. It's nice. It makes me feel good. All right. Well, I saw a crazy little ghost girl. Did you see that shit, Ethan? I got a call from the captain. He wants us to go and visit the family of the missing child. Yeah, I saw a ghost of the missing child in my room, and she told me to go to the forest. 
Their house was just adjacent to mine. Ethan, you're not listening to me. Ethan, I'm trying to talk to you. I saw a ghost. Hello, officers. It's nice to meet you. Oh, it's good to meet you. Hawks? Oh, hawks. I don't know. This is Campoli, and I'm Ethan. Then this is Ethan. There's been nothing but problems on this island the last two weeks. I hope you two can help everyone out. My daughter has been missing. I can't do a woman's voice. I'm really bad at that. My voice is too deep and manly. No, <laughs> it's just a shitty voice. I don't want to sit here and not help, but I don't know what I can do. If there's nothing you need to do, ma'am. <clears throat> we just need you to stay safe and report anything suspicious to us. I don't know why he went in that direction with the accent. Yeah, we need another statement. She was playing with her friend Joe. Is that a JoJo reference? And her Pokemon by Bond Bridge. Joe came running to tell us Sarah started acting strange and walked straight into the forest. She was been brainwashed. Hmm. I got a question. If it's if it's Hypno that called her into the forest, then why did I just see a ghost of her? Is she dead? Did Hypno kill her? Do wild Pokemon kill people? We have some investigating to do. Let's go, detective. It's time for us to go to Berry Forest. We should see if the rangers need help. Oh, and remember, you can use HM moves outside of battle. Just make sure you have a Pokemon who can learn the HM. They don't need to actually know the moves. Oh, that's cool. I'll see you over there. Check the map if you get lost. So does that mean if since Growlithe can learn cut, I can I can cut my wrists? Me and my Dodrio want to help search Berry Forest for Sarah, but the rangers won't let us. What? Why not? Oh, that's loud. Maybe it's just the music. The sound effects are very, very loud. Yes, I am the officer. I'm the great officer Campoli. I wonder how many items. I think I just have... I think I just have one potion, right? Hmm. A revive's probably a big deal, but I only have one Pokemon right now, so it's probably not as useful. Okay. She, that, that's just loud. You there. Where were you on the night of the 13th? The island is usually pretty quiet. I hope you're praying for Sarah's safe return. I don't need to pray. I can do what I want. Because I'm a cop. I'll find her. On my own. This is the same mapping. I like it. I like it when games do that. It's it's very nice to be revisiting all these classic maps. These maps are just classic. Uh, let's save. I haven't saved in a while, I don't think. Actually, no. I save all the time. I probably saved this just one minute ago. I'm going to have to battle you because I can't train in Berry Forest. What? This is obstruction of justice. I'm going to have to place you under arrest, Terry. Um, Ember? She's trying to stop me from completing my police duties. Which is unacceptable. I'm trying to get to Berry Forest, and here she is slowing me down. What, she's faster? Oh wait, she probably has the exact same speed stat as me. On account of transform and all. What's with the level bar? It seems a little shorter than normal, doesn't it? The level bar usually extends further to the right, I thought. Ow! Ow! Getting slapped in the face by this, by this pink fook. It's really hurting. Ah! Oh! Oof! Bite ya! I love bite. I love starting at level 15 and already knowing bite. The thing is, if I started with Machop, would I be better off? Whoa, that experience! Would Machop be a better choice? I wonder. I love the. I like how it's doing the fire red aesthetic though. Uh, Flame Wheel is strictly better than Ember, but I'll get rid of Lear just in case. Because Flame Wheel uses physical, and I have higher physical than special. Yes, that was a good match. Um, I could use a potion right now, but I'm so close to the Pokemon Center, I might as well heal. And there's a wild Pokemon. And it's a Pidgey. And I'm out of there. I really, really, I, I want to take this second right now to really say I appreciate the battle backgrounds and being how they're so, uh... Like, they're the exact same as Fire Red and Leaf Green. Like, you could fool me into thinking I was playing Fire Red and Leaf Green right now if it wasn't for the frame rate issues. The frame rate issues on this map are really bad. But other than that, it's like, the the aesthetics were nailed. They nailed them. They got the right font. They got, uh, they got the maps. 
You know, they got the tile sets. All the battle UI is, like, on point. It's very nice. That must be Ethan's house, right? I'm breaking in! Police... Police business! Haha! -ha. I'm taking your pants and wearing them as my pants. And no one will never know that I stole your pants. Because they're mine now. Um, to the bridge. Technically, I'm not at Bond Bridge yet. So why would it say... Whatever. Okay, I'm gonna save again. <laughs> it's because I'm just obsessed with saving. I'm a... I save often, and I save hard. Eh. Uh, wild Pokemon, no. Venonat. I might as well kill it. It looked at me funny. I can't even tell where it's looking, though, because its eyes are all weird. I, s I still believe that Venonat was supposed to evolve into Butterfree. I mean, like, the designs of them are too similar. The, uh, the eyes of Venonat are, like, the exact same eyes as Butterfree. And they got, they got the little tendril things on its head, also. I was gonna get more bug types. What? Why would you catch more bugs? If your team is comprised only of bugs, you should not be catching more bugs. That's one thing that all these trainers do wrong. They're like, hmm, I've got five water Pokemon. You know what I could use? Another water Pokemon. No, you gotta cover your weaknesses, bro. Water Pokemon are weak to grass, so get yourself a fire type, and then all of a sudden, you can send out that fire type against their grass type. But then if they bust out an electric, you could bust out like a, a ground type. I guess ground would work against electric, and I don't know, it's like, you gotta play the rock, paper, scissors game. These people are just th throwing rock every hand. So I'll just throw paper every hand. And I can't lose. I like rock, paper, scissors. But I like to imagine rock, paper, scissors extending out into like 20 different types and then calling that Pokemon, you know? Like a uh, rock, paper, scissors, but also flamethrower. <laughs> I think if you played rock, paper, scissors, flamethrower, flamethrower would win. Every single time. Unless it was rock. I'd just be stupid though. Why am I. Why am I even continuing this thought? Um. I just want to go this way. See, if that guy's a swimmer, he's going to have water Pokemon. And if he has water Pokemon, that is bad for me. So I shall continue my on my merry way. This way. You there. I don't think I should be this far out from town. Far out, man. I don't think you should either. Honestly. Where do you think you're going? Cubone. No. See, they have like the same cry. I never realized that. It must have been to save memory, you know, when they, um, when they first made Pokemon, uh, red and blue. Oh, God. Pokemon cries were probably very... I'm gonna die, aren't I? Uh, flinch. Damn it. I'm pretty sure a lot of Pokemon cries were repeated, but just pitch shifted up and down. All right. Well, that sucked. Dang it. So that's one thing I dislike. I mean, I guess I could go catch more Pokemon with my Great Balls and stuff, but... I don't like... Uh, I don't know. I, I guess it's my fault, because it, I chose a starter that you could choose. But it's like, if I chose Machop, that wouldn't be as big of a problem. But since I was Fire-type, I, I got punished early in the game. It's like, maybe early in the game, don't have trainers with types that punish your starter. But I don't know. I mean, I guess it's fair, because there's a lot of Pokemon I can catch already. I'm conflicted. I don't know. As a casual loser, I say, make the game more easy. But as, as a game designer, I think, hmm, I mean, it's not unfair. It just causes, it, it forces me to slow down. And I want to play fast. I want to play while talking over the game mindlessly. Like a, like a buffoon. I want to be a dunce. But that not, you're not making a good game if you're only making games for the dunces, you know? If you're making a game for somebody to play through where they don't have to pay attention, that's not a good thing necessarily. So maybe I should be catching more Pokemon. But it's like all the Pokemon I catch here now, I destroy. I mean, and all the Pokemon I could catch here, I destroy. Or I just don't want to catch them. I don't want to catch Venonat. I don't want to catch Pidgey. I just want to go away. Yeah. I just need to use my brain. I need to use my noggin more. I need to think of something to catch. I feel like all games should just start you off with the EXP all. Just so if you want to be an idiot like me, then there's that option. 
to make it easier. This is Riley. She's one of the rangers investigating the missing child case. Hey, Campoli, you picked a bad time to become an officer. In fact, no, I think I picked the right time. This case is kind of a dead end at the moment. I should be turning to the left right now. Riley was just telling me that they haven't found much in the forest. Creeps me out in there. It always feels like someone is watching you. Something. Doesn't sound like my type of place. I don't think anyone would want to be in there. My partner Noah had been, has been in there for a bit now, too. Did you ditch your partner? You must be a very terrible ranger. I'll wait outside the entrance. Come get me if you need help. What? Ethan? You're supposed to be my partner! Why you doing? Ethan? Ethan was supposed to help me. Oh my god, it's very dark in here. I like the music, though. Let's save. Do I have a partner trainer right now? Let's let's test. Is she fighting with me, or am I fighting alone? Because if she's fighting with me, then hot dog. Execute. Okay, she's not fighting with me. It is just me. Boom, baby. And it's a crit. You know. You know. That's what I go for. Uh, the music's loud, and the, the forest is dark. What the fuck? It's too dark. I can't see anything. Is there a tree up ahead or not? Uh... Is that her? There's a ledge there. Get back here, you little... Woman. Ah, drowsies! Waiting and hiding. That's kind of cool, actually. So it really... I should be fighting, too, right? But it really called to my attention the fact that the cave... Like, that it was very dark early in the forest. And then they exploited the fact, like, that I... I don't know. They exploited my anticipation and stuff. Ah, it's cool. Oh, there's the second one. I think this is really nice. And I bite you. Yeah, every time I find something to complain about, uh, the game then gives me something to praise. I thought that was a very nice little event that they made. They had two drowsies and everything. Plus, I think the girl running away and laughing is very creepy. And if that's what they're going for, which I assume they are, they succeeded. So, so far, so good. I really like the battle backgrounds, once again. The battle backgrounds and the battle bases. It's very authentic. The UI for the battle is also pretty good. It's all good. My health just went up there. It must have been because of the uh, EVs. It's weird, though, to see your health go up when, I didn't, when you didn't level up. It's weird. Berries! Yay! Chesto. Okay. Um, can I head down here? No. Nah, I need a new badge. Didn't he say I could use HMs? I don't know. Campoli? Oh no, Ethan. Ethan. I don't know. Something about HMs. Where's the... Where's the girl? Oh, more drowsies. Ha, ah, that was cool. They kind of like jumped out almost. They looked like they like went up and then down a little. Like there was a little bit of a jump to them. So this is a, t a moment in time where I do not regret choosing Growlithe at all. Also, I will say I do appreciate that the, le the levels that the uh, Pokemon are all at. It's not like unfair, you know. They're level 13. I'm level 18. This one's level 12, actually. Maybe they were level 12. I don't know. But yeah, so far, pretty good. Oh, no, I lived. Oh, man. Hypnosis is putting me to sleep. Wake up. Grab a brush and put a little makeup, Growlithe. Wake up! No. Come on. Maybe I need to blast uh, System of a Down at full volume into his ears to wake him up. Come on! I don't think you trust in my self-righteous suicide, Growlithe. Alright. Get that drowsy out of here! Get him out of here! Cool. More berries. So that's good too. The berries almost act as like guideposts for you to see in the distance and move towards, but they also in a way are kind of like checkpoints because each thing gives you two orange berries and then you use the orange berries and you can heal up again. So it's like little healing spots if you choose to use the orange berries. Butterfree! See, come on. That looks so similar to Venonat. He's got like the same little hands and the same like eyes almost and the same little tendrils on top and they're both purple. I wonder if their cries are similar. I'd have to compare them. What is this, uh... What berry is that? Is that Pecha? 
The one that's a little palm tree. It's Halo. The uh, variety in the wild Pokemon is also very nice. I like um, running into a variety of Pokemon. There's the little girl. She's peeing in the water. Stop it, you! This is a protected forest. Oh, no, she just phased away. Oh, great. So she can teleport now, can she? So is this like the same thing that happened in Fire and Leaf Green? I don't remember exactly, but I know that there was a little girl and there's a hypno, and I had to... I, ah, more drowsies. God damn it! You drowsy! Where is the uh, other rangers? I feel like, what's the point in even having a partner as a officer if the partner doesn't help you out all when you're on the job? Like that, his sole, his sole purpose is for him to assist me and for me to assist him. Is him standing by the entrance helping out somehow? Because I don't see, I don't see how that works out at all. It's like, hey, we're partners. We're with, we ride or die till the end. Also, you just do everything. Like, That's not fair. That's not fair, Ethan. Uh, that becomes more powerful the less HP the user has. Did Growlithe normally learn reversal? I don't think he did. That's kind of cool, though. That I have a fighting move. Let's save. I do like fighting moves. It's only, it gets stronger the lower health I have, though. And I, I don't like being at low health, so that's kind of a downer kind of a downside to me. Kind of a system of a downside. Uh, run away! Hypno! There you are! Where the hell are you- what, what were you doing? You scared me! I swear I'm being followed by something in here. I haven't looked up here yet. So let's check. Yes, let's. Noah, what are you doing? You've been in here for ages! He's like frozen in shock. He's like moving a little though. Is he possessed? Noah, are you okay? Oh, shit. That isn't Noah. Oh, that's creepy. He's coming for us. Ah! Holy moly. What happened here? He is possessed. Double battle. Whoa, what's with these Pokemon? What's with their eyes? Oh, wow. This just got real interesting. I'll take out the Haunter. Ow! Oh, shit. Rip Gloom. Oh, Gloom survived. Cool. Boom. Get the... Get your nasty ass eyes out of here. Oh, you should've, why, why would you use Absorb on the Charmeleon when you could use it on the Haunter? Actually, no, Haunter's part poison also, right? So I guess no matter who you do it on, it's just a bad choice. This Absorb is just a terrible move choice right there. What are you thinking? What are you, stupid, huh? All right, so I think I'm good. I could use a potion to be safe. But I think I'm good. Oh my god, she only has Grass-type Pokemon. Hey, cut that shit out. Die. Oh, that did a lot. Of oh, it was a crit, that's why. Take down. That could kill it. That could. Oh, man. Alright, I'm not going to take any chances, because if he gets a crit, he still takes me out. Oh yeah, I could have used my Firestone. Huh. I wonder if I should do that, just RK9 early in the game. And have that be my only Pokemon. Just become elite, uh... A, an, an elite police officer using only an RK9. That could be cool. Vine Whip, what are you dumb? Oh, I just realized right now his tail is purple. Yeah, so I don't think it's a hypno. It's gotta be some other kind of like ghost thing going on here. What the fuck? Noah, what are you doing? Haha! <laughs> that sound effect with him falling over was great. He's unconscious. Let's get him back to town. He's breathing though. He should be fine. I saw that girl back there. I saw her. I saw that. What's going on? Is she the ghost of Christmas? He can rest here while he recovers. Thanks, Ethan. Something is in that forest, and it got in Noah's head. Yeah, what the fuck? You saw his eyes, didn't you, Campoli? They were completely blank. And he didn't say anything? Yes, he just stared at us and then suddenly attacked. His Pokemon were acting odd, too. They weren't acting odd. They were odd. Charmeleon's tail was blue fire, and they both had they had lifeless eyes, like a doll's eyes. This doesn't sound like something a human could do. What do you mean? <gasps> My daughter acted the same as Noah before she disappeared. It seems as though something was controlling them. It was possession, I called it. My deduction was correct. That makes sense, like a psychic or ghost-type Pokemon. Could it be a spooky Gengar? 
it's unusual for Pokemon to be like that around these parts. If Pokemon could possess other Pokemon, though, that opens up a whole can of worms. But it does happen. This Pokemon, or whatever it may be, is clearly trying to kidnap people, and Berry Forest is its home. And then it eats them. Yum, yum, yum. So where do we look now? Nothing was found in the forest. We look in the forest again. That's our only option. Please keep trying. I know Sarah is still in there. Don't worry. I'm not finished just yet. What about Noah? I'm going back into the forest entrance. You, should, you two should stay in town. No, I want to go to the forest. I want to go to the forest. Riley, no. I'm going to home now, officers. Thanks for the effort. Well, you're just leaving us alone with the possessed man? He's just It's just me and him alone in the room. He's going to creep me out. He's going to go, bah! That would have been perfect if, like, right as, as I'm leaving, it goes like, Pfft. oh, God, that sound effect was so loud. Ah, that's so loud. The bikers are back. Ah, I'm going in here. Oh, man. I'll deal with the bikers in the next episode. It's so loud. I'll see you guys there. And bring bring uh, headphones, but uh, the, the, the noise-canceling kind, because the shit is loud. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, goodbye.